Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Extra. It was a big day for one local basketball coach. On Tuesday, he was named the next head coach of the Lamar men's basketball program. He served as the interim head coach at the end of this past season for five games, and he joins me now. Tick Price, congratulations on being named the next head coach of the Lamar men's basketball team. How does it feel? Andrew, it feels great. I almost can probably jump and touch the, <laughs> the sky right now, but I've not felt this good and happy about being a coach again ever in my life because I know my days were numbered and for Lamar University to reach out and say I want you to be the head coach is very exciting. You haven't been the head coach for a while. Did you ever expect to be a head coach again? I did. I, my wife and my mother always told me you'll coach again. Uh, the, I had transitioned out of coaching into another role as administrator but somewhere deep inside I still had that feeling of coaching. I went to, I watched basketball seven days a week either go to high school games or go see some of my buddies coach on the college level or would go down and see some NBA games. So I watched enough basketball, I probably should have been coaching anyway. So you're telling me you can have a perfect bracket this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, you, I can't play the bracket. Right, it's right, the NCAA <laughs> rule. So, uh, but I'm going to go to Final Four. I'll be watching every NCAA game that I can. And hopefully next year I won't have a remote in my hand. I'll be there myself. So. Um, i got to get our players to think I'm coming to Lamar to win championships and go to the NCAA tournament. Being at Lamar as an administrator the past few years, how much does that help just from a comfort standpoint of knowing this university? Well, you know, if you look around the room, we had a lot of people that's on the other side of campus. We had a couple of our vice presidents. We had some of our students here. Uh, we had uh, provosts here. And so just being able to, to meet and get to know them very much I think it gives me an advantage because a lot of times they see our players are not doing what they're supposed to do. I'll get a phone call from them. The last five games of the year, how big was that for you just to understand how the players work, how they play? Does it help going forward? Yeah, it does. The uh, last five games, it was more of an adjustment for them and for me. We changed the style of play. and They had to learn on the run. Uh, but I did get to know them. Uh, as players as well as individuals. So it gives me a little bit of a, an opportunity and an advantage to know what buttons to push with each and every one of our players. What do you think about the team? Oh, I love these guys. Uh, we just got to get some repetition in during the off season, work to get better, and hopefully we'll bring in uh, a good player that's going to be able to contribute right away as well as be a big part of the missing piece. And then, Coach, I'll get you out here on this last question. Day into this job now, announced today, I guess, officially. What's the next step? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing now the rest of the week? We're going recruiting. <laughs> <laughs> it starts yeah, immediately. That's exactly right. I don't have time. Press conference is over with. Uh, I'm signing the line to, to be the head coach. My job now is to go find us some players. Good deal. Coach, congratulations and best of luck. Enjoy Thank the off season, Andrew. and we'll catch up with you before Appreciate the season, of course, that, now. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate that. More Sunday Sports Extra right after this.